Okay, so I've got a replacement for this dodgy CIA chip. If you put it in this slot, uh, it stops the disk drive from working. You put it in this one, at the moment I can't type some of the keys and the back bit cartridge doesn't work. So I've got a replacement that I bought from someone on eBay. I'm gonna pop that in and see if that works. So this new one appears to be absolutely identical markings. Made in the same week, 6526A, and it says 216A, it's absolutely identical. Right, there's the bad one out, or we think it's the bad one. And the legs on this one look not too bad. Let's make sure I get these legs in correctly. Old chip out, new one in. Let's see where we get to. So I suppose the easiest test is just to see if the back bit cartridge works, because it certainly didn't before. Uh, if you move the joystick, it would just screw up. So if that started working now, then maybe that's a good sign. So here we go, moment of truth. It should boot. Oh, I've got it in diagnostic mode at the moment. Before, we had some problems with, I think, X out or cross out didn't work. So let's try that, see if that now loads, because that certainly didn't. I think Creatures 2 didn't load as well. Oh, there we go. So this did not load before. So that CIA chip, even though even when it was loading off the back bit cartridge, the, the CIA chip was having an effect because it was in the slot where it was, um, it was affecting the actual loading. So this is now working and it didn't before. Excellent. So let's try X out as well. Yeah, so that now works as well as to be expected. So I couldn't get to this shop screen before because the serial port wasn't working because of the CIA chip and now it is. The other thing that wasn't working was I couldn't type the one key before because the CIA that was in this slot was broken and that appears to be back now. So it looks like this is back, I think, to pretty much fully working order. I don't know of anything that's wrong with it at the moment. And there's the problem. This CIA chip was bad and it ended up getting replaced with an identical chip made in the same week. So a bad CIA chip in this was causing the drive not to work at all. It would just, you try to load from an actual disk and it would do nothing. And it was also causing some of the games that was loading off cartridge to do the same. And I think that might be because the back bit emulates the drive. So when it was doing stuff with the CIA chip, it was broken. And then when I swapped them over, the keyboard stopped working. Replacing this, so replacing the CIA chip has fixed all the problems. And I think this is back to full working order now. As far as I know, I can't find anything wrong with it at the moment so that's good news I'm, I'm quite happy with this ebay score the only thing that's really wrong with it now is that the case is really beat up and nasty and all the standoffs are broken but the keyboard actually works as far as i can tell spacebar's a bit dodgy but it works so yeah so there we go dodgy cia chip